Follow these steps to install your C7 auxiliary radiator. Prior to lifting the car, remove the surge tank cap in preparation to drain the radiator. Detach the front skid plate by removing all of the screws. Once the front skid plate is out of the way, remove the rear portion. Locate the drain valve on the radiator. To eliminate unwanted spills, push a hose on the drain prior to opening and route the other end into a bucket for collection. With the heat exchanger cover exposed, lay out the marks to cut the hole for the new auxiliary radiator. Using the crease line and the plastic, measure forward from this line and make a mark at three inches. Do this on both sides of the cover. Once you have your reference marks on both sides, locate the crease to the outside of your marks. Draw a cut line in the angled area. Then make another line straight down in the corner to connect your 3 inch reference mark. Next, connect your 3 inch reference marks by drawing a straight line across the cover with a straight edge. Locate the paper template supplied in your kit and place it along the bottom edge on your drawn reference line. Use scotch tape to keep the template in place. Center the template by using the inner set of vertical lines on the template and align them with the molded lines in the plastic cover. The vertical lines on the template represent the inside of the tanks on the cooler. Make two final marks at the top of your template to finish the cutout. Remove the paper template and connect the marks. This new opening can be cut with the cover still installed in the car. Caution is needed when cutting near the existing heat exchanger behind the cover. With the cutout drawn, use a pneumatic cutting tool or hacksaw blade to cut along the reference marks. Once the lines are all cut, you can remove the remaining piece. Now that the hole is cut, dry fit the cooler to ensure the hole size is correct, your corners are square, and the cooler fits. Place the paper template back over the cut area. Then, find the center lines of each hole and drill through each one with a quarter inch bit. Now remove the paper template. Set the retainer on top of the holes in the cover. Push the clip in the center hole. If all holes are in alignment and have clearance for bolts, then push the lock into the clip to hold it in place. Do this on both sides. You can now bolt the cooler in place with the outlets facing the driver's side of the vehicle. Next. Cut the radiator hose in the center of the radius. Have a bucket ready to catch any remaining coolant. The kit comes with two hose connectors, one straight and one elbow. The 90 degree elbow will attach to the radiator side, and the straight will connect to the oil cooler side. Next, attach the straight connector to the furthest point on the cooler with the supplied 24 inch length of hose and clamps. Then from the closest point on the cooler to the 90 degree elbow fitting with the 18 inch length of hose and clamps. Route the hoses above the cross member and tighten the clamps. With the return line from the oil cooler attached by a straight connector to the new auxiliary radiator and the 90 degree connector from the new auxiliary radiator to the main radiator, the lines will rest in the original location. With everything installed, you can now reattach the skid plates to the bottom of the car, starting with the rear one first. With that, you're ready to ride. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit us at DeWitts.com.